Hi, hello and welcome to Cinema Express. My name is Ram Venkat Srikar. Uh, this is a master class session. We have a uh, national award winner, Mr. Raja Krishnan MR. Uh, he has a tremendous, like terrific body of work spanning nearly two decades across Hindi, Telugu, Tamil, Malayalam. Uh, so I personally want to learn a lot about the craft and the intricacies behind it. So thank you very much for the time, sir. Uh, thank welcome. you. Thank, thank you for, uh, you know, taking this time for, for an interview. I, I watched Kantara okay. and I obviously had to talk to you. But before getting to Kantara, there are a few things that uh, more uh, more on a holistic level, you had uh, over 20 releases in 2022. Yeah. I was just looking up IMDb, yeah. I'm sure there were more. Yeah. What does a day in your life look like? Basically, I always feel like, you know, uh, going for theatre, people go to the theatre for entertainment, you know. They uh, decide a day, they will plan everything. After finishing all the work, they will take family to the theatre, sit there, watch the movie, have fun come out. But for me, I start the day inside the theatre. Now, my life is this room, you know, I'll be like, uh, I'll be starting my work by around 8, 8.30 or 7.30 in the morning. I will work till, there's no limitation of where, where I stop the work. It's according to the deadlines which I have. So, every Friday, one movie is releasing for me. So, every Friday, it's, you know, I have deadline. So, my work processes will be like that, you know, like for one movie, at least I need 150 to 150 hours to work on just for the mixing part I'm talking about. Because uh, it's like, you know, 15 days of work, you know, 10 hours a day, if you can calculate that, you know, you'll get an idea. We need a 15 days of mixing work to be done in the movie. So, but this happens not in 15 days. This may happen in you know, seven, eight, eight days. So you can imagine how many works, how many hours I have to push a day to finish, to achieve that 150 hours totally, you know. And you have multiple films. Lined up, yes, exactly, exactly. So I'll be working a, in a movie, in morning session, I'll be working for one project, afternoon another project, night another project. So technicians like me, I think everyone is doing this because, you know, uh, in the mixing technicians, you can say it's very like, I am lucky to be in this uh, industry. I am very happy that you know I am I am able to uh, incorporate you know like uh, work with lot of new generation directors, lot of directors which have different visions. And after every movie, it's kind of a lesson for me. Oh, all the things which I have studied before, I should you know erase it now. I have something else new in my uh, you know in my in my book you know in my experience. So every day it's kind of you know experience study for me. So the going to theater is kind of you know if after ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, if I go home and feel like you know my daughter wants to watch the movie. Oh my God, I can go to. The... <laughs> so it's like my relaxation point is something where uh, it's totally different. You know, like it's my day is home? like that. Yeah, day at home is will be like much more better than you know. <laughs> Going out for a cinema, but because you know we we are all you know working for everyone to enjoy. You know we are uh, we don't have that space for sure. But you know I enjoy the job that which I am doing because you know it's 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 totally different. <laughs> it's been close to twenty years that Tw more than twenty years actually. It's almost like twenty four years, twenty three years now. And like we were talking, you started uh, <clears throat> dubbing, recording. So in the last twenty years, you have been an observer and a participant in the evolution of sound designing and sound mixing, right? You have seen it very closely. What has changed? A lot. See, I should say, it's not just 20 years. My life. I am, I am born in the film industry. Uh, like, you know, film industry means like, you know, my dad is a music composer. My everyone in everyone the family. Everyone in your family everyone is. Everyone yeah. in the family is music. Music. Uh, somewhere connected with music, you know. My Chittapan is like M.G. Srikumar, he is uh, a national award winner three times. My aunt, she is a music, Kerala University music dean. So, you know, like, I, I wake up hearing Sarigama Panisa. 
at my house. You know, like my alarm was that. I just uh, early morning five o'clock. People, students will come and they start singing the uh, Saptasuram, and I will like you know okay, <laughs> five o'clock. That is my alarm. <laughs> so my la- life started like that, and entire Malayalam industry was like it's a meeting hub for the Malayalam industry people. Normally come to my house, including Lalitan, and you know, I I grew up watching them. Everyone is uncle and auntie for me. You know like. it was very tough for me when i come into the industry i never felt that you know industry is something else and what i see i thought you know this what i see is the industry they are, no. they were not separate for you life and industry life and industry was not separate for me so i i was confused in the, in my childhood it was like everyone i like everyone's life will be like that that's the thing which i was thinking so but you know the moment the day i i studied economics and uh, uh, i thought of you know in the beginning itself i i used to travel with my dad to studios my dad used to work in the studios and i used to go go with him and sleep there itself there's one incident where my dad forgot me you know like it's a very big theater so my i was sleeping inside the very big, big hall like like this and my dad finished the work and he left home <laughs> after reaching home only realized that no, i am sleeping inside the studio so it's like that you know my life was like that so <clears throat> so there's nothing new to me when i come to the industry it's like you know uh, it was there you know i just traveled with the, with the flow but you know i understand one thing you know when i reached here i, I spoke to Pri- priyadarshan you know like he he was very close family to me so he wanted me to come and join here he when he started the studio he wanted me to he called me up and he told me that you don't know industry you want to be in the industry come be here I'll be here for six months, and you will understand what exactly film industry is. You just know what what your uh, Chittapan and you know my your dad is doing. So you don't know the real core of the industry. Come yeah. and be here. So, so it's I, him who brought you here, and not not the other way around. No, 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 no. Wow. He is wow. the one who brought me here. He called me, and he wanted me to be here because he was my family. He's one like he's like my family. You know, like he, yes, he's he's my family. I should say. uh so he wanted me to be here and he was very concerned about my future so that's the reason why he called me and you know kept me here so it was a major uh, changes change life happened changing in life changing thing in in my so i when i started coming here it was analog and that thing was film format so i was like oh my god what is happening i was totally so whatever things which i thought i know the moment i entered this place gone I was what like, were the things that you were familiar with? So I was just in the film music industry. Okay. So I thought music is everything. Oh. I thought you know this is it. Cinema is this is it. that's it. Recording things are happening. No, that's it. I never thought you know there's a major thing behind it. Music is just a small part of it. Oh. So when I reached here, I started understanding that editing was happening. So I was like. Like there's movie or la, uh, producer sir will be sitting in one side and editor will be sitting in one side. So there's a small screen at that time. Now now editing setup is totally different. A movie or la is a very small uh, unit, and the screen will is only this size, a small size. Hmm. So what happens? Editor, my 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 vision. I'm just conveying my vision. Maybe it's it's comical. Yes. You know, please bear with me. So when I came here, I was like seeing a small table. So Well, they have to sit together the editor and the director should sit shoulder to shoulder then only they can see the picture happening Both inside them together uh, together so the producer and the editor was sitting close by and looking at that a uh, cut cut so he will be telling that you know you will you will stop you say accelerator and brake with leg like, no yeah, like, yeah uh, they will stop and drag the print they cut it and uh, they will zero it they roll it and put it in a sack so that role they will mark it so assistant director will mark that you know this this has been uh, this is one piece so i was like hey eh, what is happening so the the best part is all the assistant directors they will be standing behind like a queue so uh, only the th- first assistant and the la- second assistant can see the screen from the third assistant he will be like you know <laughs> they don't know what is happening in the screen so that kind of working process i was like you know i was i was amazed watching that and finally when it comes to like after the final edit all this rolls small 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 rolls which they have edited cut and kept they will join everything together and make the movie so i was okay 
So this is how the movie happens. And then what happens to the sound? So then I was like, you know, I thought well, music, music is a sound. So then I understood, no, it is not that. You have a dubbing process happening. So dubbing is like, you know, I, I was just traveling through that. You know, I was just seeing. I, I am not doing anything because I am studying. Nobody wants me to do anything. But you know, just it was fun watching. So every every day there will be a group of people coming. You know, like by according to the time they will come and dub and leave. So it will be happening in the film. So at that time, film used to come in a small petty auto, like you know, yeah. like uh, small auto. There will be like so many 10, 20 reels. You know, I used to carry that and to the operator's room. I used to do that. You know, I have to. I need to help. You know, like somebody have to help. So I used to do all that, you know, carrying all the things upstairs. And I, I, first thing I studied is projection, how to thread it, thread the picture and and sound. You know, so the sound is separate and the picture is separate all the time. So I was wondering when this is going to be together. So that's my, so I, I traveled with all these things and, you know, like finally they will say that, you know, a married print is coming. So I said, what is married print? It's called the print with sound and picture. Married together. When did this happen? I'm talking about, you know, like 1999, 2000. 1999, 2000. This is the time which I was, I came here. Uh, 99 was the year which I came to Four Frames and that the construction was going on. This theatre was not ready. But the editing suits was ready. Editing was happening for uh, this one movie called Snehidi, I think. So, that was the movie which I also like joining with uh, previous and So, he was doing the edit and I was seeing all that, you know. That was just, uh, that movie was kind of in a uh, study uh, book for me, study material for me, you know, like every every inch of the movie I know how I was traveling with the music, I was traveling with the sound, uh, mix, uh, what is called like a designing part, I was with the mixing part, you know, I was just, I, try, I was just seeing everything, you know, like, but I started my, this thing with that, with that movie too, you know, like dubbing, when, when, when the dubbing was happening, I used to go and sit there and record it. So that kind of work also was happening. So this was the opening of, you know, which I, I was seeing. So gradually what happens, I, at that moment I thought, you know, this is it. I studied everything. Okay, done. So I know how to do. So after one movie, I thought, you know, everything is set. Immediately in two, three months, all this became, uh, you know, unwanted. Unwanted in the sense like, you know, the technology was you had to learn changing. again yeah the technology was changing suddenly everything became digital digital means no not completely digital film will be converted to a digital data you know like a AV, AV, av file and it will go for editing editing will be inside the computer, computer. not this you know sitting with the moviola and all that thing that changed so entire content used to come to us not as film they are coming to us hard disk so now our working pattern is changing. Mm. So now we have to depend on the computer to in, take the input of the video and we have to work on it. So for that, we the software is changing. At that point, till that point, it was like an analog emissions, fader and all that stuff which was there involved because, you know, everything is separate, you know, hardware is the main thing. Now, gradually, gradually things are coming to software. So I was, I was okay. So th let's start, start again, you know, study again. It, it was like, you know, every day the study, teaching things happen. So even, even my guru, Deepan Chatterjee, he was also studying. So my plus point which happened is like, you know, everyone is changing, right? You know, he, he knows, he has 25, 30 years of, 25 years of experience with music industry, my guru. He was a assistant of uh, R.D. Brahman for 20 years. Wow, wow. So he was with him. It was his right hand. So, he has a lot of experience. So, he is pouring his experience to me. I am also like, uh, I'm, he is my institution. I will say, no, no, I never went to institution to study sound. Institution is Divan Chatterjee for me. So, he, he has heavy knowledge. So, that, you know, he just, you know, every day I am studying something, something new from him. So, that day, the, the transition happens. Divan Sar is also studying. So, it was like fun. My guru is also studying, I am also together. studying, learning together is like, it was fun. So, I, I feel like, you know, I will, I will, I will start, go and study first and then uh, teach him, you know, I will, I will go and tell him, sir, sir no, this is, teach him, <laughs> teach him, you know, that was the fun part, you know. Huh. So, even he liked that. He used to say, no, you go and study, you know, and come and teach me. He used to do that. 
so it was fun for me so i am teaching my guru so i should be very careful <laughs> to what what i am doing yeah, yeah. so i will be very much focused you know like to t- study some software or whatever it is so all that fun was happening and then i thought you know the, the dts was established and computer was like you know, every day it was developing 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 the software was developing i was working on some other software the software changes mm. i was working on soundscape dd8 plus and then pyramix and then uh, neando and from there thug pro tools when pro tools came in it became uh, see it, it was like a driving a benz, benz car you know like after studying uh, to drive in an ambassador car it, 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 upgrade to upgrade 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 this is like you know very flexible software so i still love lot of other softwares but software i i always say my students that software is nothing it's just a tool you can do any magic any mix with any software so only thing the, the tool will be like if you get a easy tool we always prefer that easy tool right so but in a with the hard tool you, you may get a little more better mix maybe we will work so extra hard on that to get it done so yeah. but with with the easy tool you will feel that you know this is enough so i always feel that you know like software is not the matter what you think and wh- how you do it always matter so but you know anyways to survive the next generation of mixing te- techniques we have to update right that updation will happen with pro tools and they, we end up in in doing everything in pro tools then we thought this is it at that point we are yeah. telling that dts is there dolby is there film format everything is this is it now no no development <laughs> immediately the film format is stopped <sighs> film format is completely gone and now completely it's completely digital then uh, we thought you know okay what will happen to dts and uh, dolby because dts is something which helps the to bring sound digital sound to the picture mm mm-hmm. and dolby is also another company which brings the sound, sound to the picture to the picture mm. so their work is done the moment the entire transition happened to digital we don't need dts people or dts company or dolby company to help us do this we just need to give 5.0 to the uh, uh, to the like uh, to the production and they will just load a picture separately and uh, this audio separately in the cube they do dcp mm. done once you do a dcp if I just we are giving the 5.0 mix you know you don't need any dts or you know dolby company to help you out on that so people now also like people say uh, and where are we going no, i'm going for a dts mixing So because this they're used to <laughs> it's like you know you you say uh, going for a xerox copy you know like uh, it's basically a company name but you know people used to say that you know that that's the thing which which is always happen now also people say that you know dts mixing <laughs> but but it is gone dts and all be that that format is gone now they are coming up with new formats actually okay so but the first format which uh, with the sound revolution was like dolby atmos so now now it is a dolby atmos time now i feel that you know okay that's it <laughs> <laughs> so in 20 years uh maybe after 10 years i will say sit and say you know i said this that day you know definitely this is not going to end the revolution is going more you know like we i never thought you know this is going to happen the things will be like this much easier i, I never thought the day one i when i studied everything everything is recorded in stripe and magnetic tape and all that stuff i thought that's it but after 5 t- t- years gone magnetic tape is gone everything is gone analog is gone but i will say something basically it's my personal opinion we are losing it we are losing in the sense like we are missing analog i am missing analog why where does it have that edge uh, i will prove it actually i can i can actually tell you something see analog is always yes what do you hear is analog okay so when you create something digitally it always it's not real you know like I, what i feel to say is it's a difference between milk and milk powder it's a difference between analog is milk pure milk and digital is milk powder which one you like Obviously. you you don't, you don't you, if you don't have any choice you will start drinking milk powder and you you will be satisfied this is the original this is what it is yeah. ah but you know like the depth of the sound you see 
I, I will tell you one example actually, which happened in my personal uh, mixing experience. Uh, I was mixing Priyadarshan sir's movie, uh, I think it is Bulbulaya or something. Uh, there is one scene where Rajpal Yadav gets a, a beating on his head with a watermelon. So, one guy will just crash watermelon on his head and that is a comedy sequence, a fun sequence. I wanted this watermelon crash to be on the higher side, you know, like it should have the, all the details. Crush! You know, when I say this crush. I hear something. You, your mind says, okay, this is a sound. Yeah. This is a sound. So, I was mixing it. The FX guys gave me the entire session. Uh, one Mr. Iqbal, he was doing. He was also with uh, Divan sir. We all came together. So, Iqbal was doing it and Iqbal gave me a track. I was mixing and sitting here in the same chair. I was playing it and I feel tick. I was, what is this? I, I called up Iqbal, Iqbal, what is this? What are you doing? Man, I need to exact that sound, you know, like, uh, Illa Raj, I brought almost like three watermelons. I crashed it, you know, like I done it almost like five, six takes. And this is what I'm getting. I said, no, you're lying. I told him, no, you're lying. You're not, uh, you're doing something else, you know. You're not taking a watermelon and doing it because, you know, you want to, you don't want to make your hands dirty. Uh, you're doing some trick. Tricks. Some, yeah. He said, okay, you record it. I will bring the watermelon. I said, yeah, I will record it. Come on, man. <laughs> I called. He, he came with the watermelon here. What I've done is I have just connected microphones here and there. I have sitting here. I directly connected to my systems. I will record it. You know, that was that was my confidence, you know. He crashed it. I heard it. Ah, look at that, you know. What a beautiful sound. I recorded it and played. Tick. I was there. I sat here in this chair. I was like, what? What happened to that sound? Again record. Again the same tick. But I can hear that. But it's not being translated like it captured by... It is not by, being captured. Um, there's a tick sound is coming, but that texture, you know, like that juicy detail, texture, yeah. details, which, which you are getting, you are listening to it. It's not being getting recorded. I was like, then we, what we have done is to achieve that, we layered almost like 10, 15 tracks. We recorded again when we took that squash, no, we let that uh, juice thing and we crushed it like this and then recorded the sound. We layered all that elements and then played. Okay, we got it. See, we, we got what? We have layered almost like 20 tracks to get what we heard in one one crash. To achieve that reality, to achieve that, you had to... You have to add almost like 20, 20 tracks. Pad it up with so many things, so many detailing. You know, like we, we take the that watermelon the, the thing out, we crushed it. So many sounds we created, layered it, layered it, layered it. And then we, okay, we are happy. Okay, this sound is perfect. But... I didn't leave it just like that. I called up and Iqbal said, you know, let's let's try try out something, you know. The even says uh, one recorder was there with him. So he brought that recorder. We just recreated the same thing. You know, we, we crushed it. We recorded in that analog recorder. It's analog recorder, hand recorder. Pure analog recorder. No with that? Uh, yeah, small spool and all that. So not a big one, a small handy recorder. At that time also analog was providing handy recorders, you know, like we recorded that. We converted it to this thing, all the 20 tracks which we put with this one track, every texture was there. Wow. Every texture, every texture was there. It was recorded just what we heard. That is analog. So that's that's the reason why I'm missing it. So I don't know, like, you know, when when the, that future is going to come. Even even for photographers, they know. They know what they are missing. Because, you know, the day I, I, I wanted to be a photographer in the beginning stages because, you know, I, I love that, you know, the, that art. So, I used to buy, I, I got Pentax P30, there's a camera called Pentax P30. I got it from abroad and then like, uh, it's a film, film camera. I used to put film. Uh, I will be taking photos and studying the aperture settings and all that so personally, like my on my own. I used to take almost like, I used to waste, I should say, I should. I used to waste almost like three rolls a day. But you know, I enjoy that. In three rolls, I may get two photos. <laughs> Perfect photo, you know. <laughs> Rest everything will be overexposed, underexposed, gone. But we will end up in a point where, okay, we know seeing at the light, 
we know how to text uh, put the aperture on aperture setting and the shutter speed so till that point it's a struggle to get the result once you get the result we will be like i don't know i don't know how to explain to you uh, when we take the print out and we see the photo we will be like so it's like an award that is not there that is gone na anyone can just take by a camera take a photo put it in auto just click that's it no creativity nothing everything is gone so this creativity is missing in sound also mm-hmm. and not only that in a higher under iso you are getting so much of uh, uh, texture in that in depth in that now you are talking about uh, pixels and all that stuff why why you are talking about the, all that just take a 100 iso film kodak film how much pixels pixels is there in that you are trying to you are you are trying to match that quality with digital till now we are not able to match it yeah. now you are talking about 4k 5k you know like all that stuff what what was there in the beginning the film that is gone no so the same thing is happening in the audio industry sound also the same thing happened you are losing it you are losing it in the sense like you know what you used to hear you you are struggling hard to get that back in the screen mm. you have to struggle a lot like like i told you for a watermelon crash i need to lay 20 tracks that's what we are doing now yeah. designing part to achieve something yeah we have to do that and with now that every sound editor like i'm sure you must be having a library of uh, sounds right so is it as fun now to create if you take a scene say we have a dog there it's walking on a road somebody is walking uh, with the dog on a road you have everything now right you have everything in your library you have the ambient sounds you have the footsteps you have the traffic you have everything no. is it still as no no thing is like there's a different uh, for traffic yes mm. we can use the stock sound mm. uh, for ambience bird chipping sounds we can use a stock sound mm. but not the walking oh. so walking walking with the dog is like dog has four legs uh the guy who is walking has two legs and what the chappal that he is wearing maybe it's a canvas shoe so and the the uh, the place where you were walking maybe uh, the tar road or a little watery place right. or uh, a, a mud road it keeps on changing so it's like you know it's always better see the sequence what the foley artist that's the job for foley artist what they do is is see check the sequence okay that guy is wearing canvas so he'll take the canvas shoe in his hand and lay the studio with the, the road with that the, mud the, road or mud uh-huh. road or whatever it is they will put that material on the ground and they start walking they will rehearse one time and they start walking and they will get the exact sound you that, that's how it has been done so just like dubbing all this foley work is been done again so the foley artist will be like sitting with the uh, in a in a place and they will like you know hero one guy will do the next guy where somebody else will do you know they will sit and do do the work uh, just like that just like doing the dubbing they recreate the entire sound inside the studio okay even even we do a lot of tricks also they they have so much of tricks in their hand you don't need to uh, for example you can say like uh, simpler i will just tell you simple you can't just record a bird flying keeping a microphone in their yeah <laughs> wings yeah. correct yeah so you need to create that wing sound so for that you know there so so much of trick happening you know like what they do is they will take a paper they will just keep their hand like this and just flap it like that so when you when you just process it properly and put it in the visual nailed so see this kind of tricks is been used in the movie so you want a bed squeak you don't have to go to a, a bring the bed inside the studio to do that you just need a to a small uh, what do you say a nut nut oh, or bolt or something like that you know just just sound sounding wise it should sounds like a squeak that's it okay so this this is a trick which they use you know for doing the movies and uh, for example you want to use a f- you, the fire blowing sound what they do is they will uh, take a cloth and wet it properly 
and blow it towards the mic. So, you will get sound there. So, that kind of uh, tricks are there, you know, like creating fire, you can't just take the microphone to. <laughs> sound actually does not have a. It's yeah, it's not it, as intense as. Uh, uh, you, it is, you, you, you have a lot of space to create that. See, uh, like you don't you don't need to record exactly that, but sometimes yes. Sometimes you, when when once you don't don't get what exactly you need, you you have to go out record things. So for door closing and door, door opening, car sounds, all that we will record. See, always better. No, I'm just telling my boys. Normally, which when boys come to me for assisting and all that, I, I first thing which I to tell them is go buy a recorder. Go buy a recorder, and get a good microphone. Go record your own sound, start collecting the sound, you start to your library, your own library. Every li every sound in the library should be yours, not something which a foreigner has recorded. Go, sir, see, I always seen that in the new, new coming, upcoming people, you know, new upcoming sound team, what they do is, uh, if I give some something and ask, they will Google search, take the sound, Just come on man, what, what is fun in it? What's the fun in it? Somebody has like uh, struggled a lot to get get that sound recorded and put it in the this thing. What's the fun in it? You you have to take the mic, go out, record it, come and place it. Then you will feel that fun. You will enjoy that. Every sound which has been played should be yours. So uh, you can recreate. You, every student should do that. You know, like I used to tell everyone that. So that's how you know, like I. Yeah, I slipped from the path. Wait, 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 wait. The fun in the library. We, we are on the path. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. The library, libraries. I'm, I'm dead against that. Dead against that using the library. Uh, but you know, sometimes we have to. So, you, for example, in a movie where you have foreign bikes, <laughs> where will we get that bikes? You have to. You have to buy that sounds. You know, like recording bikes. Foreign bikes, it will be very expensive. It will be better for us to buy that sound rather than if a gun sounds, explosion sounds. <laughs> how will you record all that? Yeah. I don't want them to go go to a, you know army uh, to record uh, the sound. There are there are so many people who is uh, focusing on those sounds, which is not available for everyone. See, gun experts are there. Gun sound experts are there, that, and they charge very high. So, they only they have the connections to go and record the gun sounds. So, every gun has different sounds. But for our uh, Indian movies, uh, if you are talking about uh, big stars movies, every gun will have the same stun gun sound, you know, like damal. <laughs> it is needed. Even a handgun will sound like a machine gun. So, maybe a tank blasting sound will be from coming from the handgun because you need that for a heroism. <laughs> but when you use a normal hand, top, it is like you know, it's very small sound. You know, like very few people will try to use all that. You know, but you know, yeah. Now speaking of uh, capturing the reality, you have worked on uh, films that have used sync sound also, right? Yeah. When just Kaka Muttai also. Kaka Muttai is not a sync sound. Kaka Muttai is not a sync sound. No, no. We try to achieve it like that. Okay. It's a dub. It's purely dubbed. But uh, our aim is to bring. The movie sounds like a sing sound. It sounds like a yeah. Wow. <laughs> what are some sing sound films that you have worked on? And is there a special joy when no, you are working on Yeah, I will tell you something, you know, like that's fun that you know so many people think that Arjun Reddy is sing sound. Okay. It's not. Uh, so many people think that Kakamoto is sing sound, it's not. So many people everyone thinks that you know Premam is sing sound. Hmm. No. It's all dubbed. Not even one one dialogue is been taken sing. <coughs> So, what happens, you know, like uh, it is according to the director's taste. Director really wanted that movie to sound like a sink, very natural. Then we will have to work from the top, from the recording time itself, you know, from, from the shooting time itself. We have to plan accordingly, then we can achieve that. So, even the dubbing also like uh, is very important. For that Kaka Mutai problem was like the boys was new. So, once they stand in front of the mic, they look at them. They will just, they forget the dialogue. So, they do not know how to uh, render it when the, their leap comes. But they will, they if without the visual, if they stand in the studio and say, okay, repeat the scene, they will act. 
just just like like a copy paste wow they will just act so what we thought is money and uh, we have decided to take uh, lapel kanak lapel and the boom just like we record in the outside what we have done is we connected the boom and the lapel and this asked them to act and we captured all the sounds and synchronized it manually with the lip <laughs> so it was like you know it was tough job you know the timing will be different so but you know every lip we every dialogue we will record it uh, wild and record it and place it synchronize it according to the lip so that's how it has been done for kaka mutte but uh, not every movie it is possible for kaka mutte we have to do it because of uh, the children's uh, you know experience with the this thing you know dubbing so uh, but premam is like something different premam was like beginning from the beginning uh, alphonse wanted it to sound like uh, the pilot you you know pilot what pilot is like you know when you shoot uh, the sound is been recorded in the location itself but it's for the reference for the dubbing when the dub when the dub, for the when you, when you come artists come for the dub they will hear that pilot and then they dub it's like that the pilot will be completely noisy full of ambient sounds too high you know like that's a natural thing yeah yeah so naturally when when you go out the traffic noise will be very high you will be shouting on top of traffic noise to make the other people listen to what you are talking so we grab that idea so we keep all the ambient sound high ambient should be and it should be proper not not just any ambient sound just not just by bird sounds or anything so the sound sound designers was like uh, vishnu govind and sri shankar they have done a wonderful job collecting the sounds beautiful job uh, every sound is so unique in that no libraries has been used everything they went personally to the locations where the shooting has happened recorded everything and relayed the entire uh, session with that and so even alphonse was very much focused on the birds which is tripping you know like he wanted to hear a particular bird for that they waited almost like 2 to 3 weeks wow to get that bird sound i'm not joking because you know he wanted that sound he, he, no no i i used to hear this when i at, at my house i need to hear that bird how <laughs> and he doesn't know what the bird is he doesn't have a reference just the sound just the sound he's telling that no no this is not the we we'll go and record no 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 this is not the <laughs> <laughs> it was like until and unless he get that bird sound it's been done oh okay this is the one then okay we it, it, the entire work process went like that even for the dubbing he wanted all the uh, original characters to dub the movie like you know there's in the beginning of the movie you must have noticed he's sitting and writing a letter you must have seen the movie yeah. so that His mom can, is talking the yeah. fisher they fisher, come to yeah. selfish and those two characters is not been shown in the movie correct yeah yeah so he was conceiving himself like you know he, this he, the atmosphere he created is his house that's a normal way of uh, things happening in his, at his house so he wanted his mother to dub and uh, he brought a brought the original fisher fisher lady from his uh, hometown to dub so that's what she is doing every day so she just rendered the way she render normally and mother used to buy fish from her she brought fish from her that's it so what happens there a magic happened yeah. you know, like, so it's like it's like you know uh, a real thing which he we have already used to hear he recreated it so entire movie was recreated like that so the tea, tea shop guy he was the tea, real original tea shop guy in his hometown <laughs> he does that every day wow. so he brought in that. see that's what you know when a movie becomes success you know like all that thing happen there is some magic something uh, some hard work happen behind that we might not be able to pinpoint where it is but yeah there is so much of hard work happening is a uh, magic happening you know so yeah see this kind of you know like ambience collection and all that you know it it that is the plus point of the entire movie you know sound if if the sound is been uh, appreciated in the movie and no so many people everyone thought it is sing sound yeah yeah even i was thinking it was yeah, everyone thought it is sing sound after that movie only 
the entire industry they thought about okay let's go for sing sound they they, they thought this sing sound and everyone tried to do sing sound so that became so much of problems in the beginnings but now we see we are not able to do 100% sing sound because due to so many reasons because of a movie heroines hero they have to study the lang dialogue first and most of the movies in tamil you take an example of tamil most of the artist the female artist who is acting is from kerala or from north they don't know the language so they have to dub so what happens to a hero that combination portion hero have to dub so better we will dub <laughs> see instead of you know changing all the zero and hero in should be dub, dub for the entire movie means let's dub so this problem is there unless and until you go with the lock, like tamil heroine tamil heroine so i then, have a question here uh, say if if this is a film scene uh, i don't know the language you know the language we are having a conversation you are rendering you are uh, delivering your i'm delivering my lines in say hindi you being the other actor you are de- uh, delivering your lines in tamil after capturing this can't just my lines be dubbed again or will will the viewer will the viewer sense that difference definitely see when you are du- doing some dub inside the studio and the other guy is talking live but it can be matched no i'm just curious uh, it can be matched but definitely there will be a variations you know like if if the dialogue is clashing what will happen his dialogue and um, when you you're talking you're te- telling mm, yes mm, okay all that is clashing right yeah, yeah, yeah. so sense. we have to dub so you can't just take two dialogues away one dialogue dub with someone else no so you have to dub the both their characters that is always safe wow so, yeah so that's that's one problem and and another problem is discipline in the location nobody is used to it okay so and the equipments which is which they are using the ca- from the camera from the generator you have to go for generator means the generator should be soundproof generator should not make noise and and the food having food is also another problem they eat food where they shoot and crows will be everywhere wow ha huh? It's how a will practical you do a, difficulty yeah, how will you do a sing sound recording when the crows are around <laughs> and and there will be guy a temple every every junction some some songs will be playing from there and a church will be there a mosque will be there in the traffic obviously how, how how will you stop ask them to stop stop for 10 minutes we will record no so all that is problem for our uh, you know way, way of movie making and our atmosphere also is, is like that it's noisy so only thing where we can do sing sound is that kind of project when a, when a when a movie is happening inside the house yes of course we can do sing sound it's always you know like only few scenes are there in the road only that scenes we can dub we can we can plan like that but you know uh, but naturally right, right now i'm very happy to tell you that you know like uh, almost like 50% of the movie from malayalam is now sync yeah. they have managed to, to create that discipline yeah, yeah 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 because you know see once you start doing the sync sound only people all, everyone will get used to it so now now thing is like you know over here uh, the entire crew is not used to it and they everyone the the, the, the moment they the director says that today we are planning our movie in sync sound no no no, no. come on man no so that was the reaction the first reaction comes out even from a dop they will say that no 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 yes, come on man see the problem is that i am not blaming anyone you know i am not yeah, blaming yeah. hitting on anyone but you know i am talking about uh, a normal practice which is happening because everyone want to be safe when you do a take and the take is we have to do the same take again because of the sound is not correct everyone will get irritated so that's the problem which we are facing you know even even the recording if, if the recordist the who is coming for the recording is like for example you take rasul pokuti and he asks for a second take artist will say yes okay let's go for another take if a new boy is going for the recording artist will say come on we will we'll correct it later this we have to face and this job the sing sound recording is not been treated in a proper way in our industry it will take time but it will take time it will take time it will, it, it, they they will treat 
him as a kind of you know daily wages person see, that kind of divisions should go from the movie every person who is working in the including the light boy should get the equal status i i i am against that you know like you know when i see separations the food separations in the industry i am kind of you know like okay <laughs> i i that's the reason why i don't uh, you know i normally in the beginning i used i really wanted to go to the location the court sound and be with the team. i felt that you know like i am happy now why take a stress to going to industry if i am getting that kind of separations from the industry i will feel bad i will feel stressed and i will i may feel depressed right now when when the people come here they they are away from all the shooting tensions they are away from all that this is the point where they are seeing the movie in the final in a final look and they are very happy this is the happiest moment for every filmmaker coming and sitting with me i'm sure playing the first reel they are like oh they all have they will have goosebumps because entire hard work the entire two years of hard work yes Finally. here it is here it is so that's the point where i am sitting with them so that's very much relaxing for me you know <laughs> so uh, yeah i'm just you know in yeah. between i just you know yeah, yeah, yeah. told you few it's things it's very important which, yeah. that to create that discipline like every factor plays a part in be, 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 what part, the yeah. sound the sound and the image see end of the day movie is what light and sound sound audio that's visual. it so you should get equal importance for these two elements so then the movie will be the, the, the we are using these two formats to tell the movie right tell the story so this should be the perfect you have done around 300 to 400 films yeah if you had to go back and think about some films or uh, sequences that really challenged you can you name a few because you have seen it all right like see, all yeah, genres yeah actually kind of uh, see every movie is a challenging thing for me i will i am not t- t- telling like you know i'm uh, <laughs> it's not in a, in a, i'm seriously telling that you know every movie it's major challenging for me because every director is different that is his baby hmm. he is giving his baby in my hand thinking that you know i will take care of that baby properly and give him a good you know like yeah. in in a, in a good health so he he is expecting that and give me that means you know like i have to work really hard on that so his point is different from the other director which i worked for another movie and the emotion which is carrying may be same but he want the emotion in a different way so each and every movie it change keeps on changing everything is challenging what i always feel is making noise is easy creating silence is tough creating silence in a movie is a toughest area where we Uh, silence is very dangerous yeah. creating noise is anyone can do it anyone can create noise that's what i feel you know like put music put put effects put, put dialogue in a le- high level volume pump it up noise is there energy is there but the moment you put a silence in that people will be like no <laughs> and their theater will be like oh <laughs> it will like go into a space they they start feeling afraid not not with the noise so that's the reason that's the play where you know pizza the, you used a lot of silence yeah of course yes that's the place where the horror movies works in you know like that's how the horror movie treatment should be people started loving like uh, feeling fear with the silence not with the sound yeah sound create them uh, a jump scare but the fear is from the silence the tension the, the tension the tension the moment i pull down the music the moment i pull down the entire sound and goes to nothing we always feel like the heart goes something up something is something, <laughs> something is, is going to happen the heart beat goes up yeah. that's a trick even in kantara there is a terrific terrific yeah kantara is there. yeah yeah <laughs> before when he is looking at the torch the sound goes down even 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 that's what you know like in the beginning i was telling uh, rishab while i was mixing see uh, uh, rishab i have made the forest silent the moment you see see uh, hear a sound and go go near that basically what you are doing is your mind as a character your mind is doing is you are bypassing all the sounds you are focusing only on one thing that po- peak 
where the sound is coming from. So, you are cutting off all, you, you, like I said, told you, your ear has the power to cut off everything. So, that play we have to bring it to the audience. That is where I just silented the entire forest and I kept only his footstep. Even the other characters was talking behind, I said, no, mute it. I, even their lip was there, I purposefully muted it. They are talking, blah, 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 things was, they are talking so many things, but you know, I muted it. Because in the theatre, when we, they are watch, we are watching the movie, that theatre audience is not going to watch what is happening behind. They are only watching at the hero, the person who is going forward. So, I went with that. So, it really worked. When suddenly after the silence and the jump scare comes in, you know, the theatre will be like, oh, shocked. So, that's that's the beauty of silence actually. How did you create that, that, that scream? What went into, like you said, yeah. for a watermelon, you had to struggle so much to create the texture in the watermelon. What went into the making of that scream and how much did you pad scream, it up with? Yeah, scream is like just his normal recording. Mm -hmm. What uh, he has screamed, he recorded the, uh, whatever the record which came to me. But, you know, the processing which happened under it, it's heavy. I have used uh, all kind of reverbs, delays to get that stretch, you know, like there is a top angle shot which comes in, the scream should spread. So, he was he was asking me, uh, that's sir, a Dolby, a Dolby atmosphere varto. <laughs> that was the thing which Rishabh was telling me. You create that scream, you should go, go around because the theatre. That's the know? dialogue, right? He says, as as the radius that my sound spreads to, that 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 should be exactly, the length. Exactly. So that that's wide a short, shot. Yeah, yeah, wide shot. You know, so what I have done is I took out everything, every sound. From see, normally what happens when you do a movie, the ambience will be there, music will be there, uh, so many things will be there. The, if there is a frame kept in the movie, what happens? The tree will be shaking. That tree sound will be there. Every every sound is there in that. So, once you want the audience to feel uh, what we are feeling, we have to decide on what they have to hear, they have to listen. So, we will mute everything. So, because the audience does not care about the tree sound there, you know, that, that uh, bird flying sound, no. They care about that particular scene, they care about only the screen. So, play only the screen. That is the magic. Forget everything, you know, even the music, cut off the music, mute the music, do whatever you want. Keep the screen alone and show it to them. Then you will get it. Wow. Since you said that you had to play with the elements, when you have an image, when you have a frame and if there are say 10 objects, 10 sound producing objects in that frame, do you generally make sure that first let's give sound to everything and then let's figure out which exactly. one. That's how exactly. it works. Exactly. So, see, the person who is doing folly, he doesn't know what my plan is. So, what he does is he record everything. Every footstep, every movement, every sound, which is every movement is shown in the movie is being recorded. The sound editors, they don't know what we are going to do. So, what they do is they lay the entire ambience. They will fill the entire movie with ambience and sounds. Sound editors, whatever sounds, you know, like, see, what we have to do, that is what I am coming in. As a mixer, my job is to decide what people to hear. I have to decide. See, because you know, we have a very beautiful ears. Again, I am coming back to that because I want to explain you this. You know, how many people uh, has this? See, this our ability is very supernatural. What happens is we are standing in a road with heavy traffic, heavy horns, heavy noise. You are talking to your friend. You normally you, do, you in 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 your mind you are cutting out all the traffic noise that you are you are doing it in your brain. You cut out all the traffic noise, you focus only on his dialogues. The friend who is talking in front of you, you are focusing on that. And only the moment you think that you know you want to hear that sound, it comes to you. Till that point, in your brain, it works in a very beautiful way. You you are able to bypass the sounds. Okay. Yeah. So when you an audience going for watching a movie, he doesn't have that power because you know he is focusing on the screen. Whatever comes from the screen, he listens to it. <laughs> there is no other way. You mm -hmm. can't cut the sound which is coming from the screen. So if the music is loud, sure yeah. He if the, the right music is loud, it is loud. If the music is low, it is low. Dialogue is loud, it is loud. There is no choice for him to cut down the sounds which is coming from the screen. So, I am telling you that it is my job 
to make sure what audience should be heard so if you are make sure if you make sure you do it properly people enjoy the mix enjoy the movie super like you had shared a great anecdote about alphonse putran now and i was reading an interview where, she, where you said that while mixing neeram alphonse would be sitting he would be closing his eyes and he, even if uh, the audience even if he would be closing his eyes he should be knowing uh, where Very the character standing. is standing what is it about these new filmmakers this new crop of filmmakers that what are they bringing new to the soundscape see uh, i told you like everyone's life have different experiences mm. the same thing they are trying to create in their movie so for uh, if you take arjun reddy arjun reddy's director he is telling his own story so uh, whatever things which he shot he remembers he had this experience before in his life or you know he some something he already seen something and he is recreating it so everyone has their own point so only thing which our duty is to bring that point to that cinema so uh, it's like you know they everyone is creating so many beautiful things you know like uh, that's what i'm telling you every day i'm studying mm. i'll say one example of anjali menon anjali menon is a person i would say she changed my view point in a beginning stage i was doing one of her movie manjare guru that's not so, so much the kids the kids movie perspective ah. movie uh that's her first movie second was bangalore days mm. it's a totally tra- different uh, you did bangalore days yeah i do i i did bangalore days uh, but, but the first movie which i worked with her is uh, mm. this thing uh, manjare guru i committed this movie it was a, like i committed this movie thinking that it's just another movie okay i i was doing so many movies and suddenly a call came uh, this is anjali menon i am a upcoming uh, i'm a director so i would like to work with you for this project and i said yes come we will work so i gave her a package thinking that is just another movie so i thought you know another 15 days i'll finish the project so i sat started sat sitting with her i was mixing the way i used to do for all of the movies i approached it in the same way, manner i have not changed any style i just approached it in the same manner day 1 i was i was under a shock you know she her point of view was different she was explaining no this is not like this this is like this this is not like this this is like this okay so i thought you know i uh, my strategy was not working i changed my strategy every day my strategy was flop 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 she is she was taking me into a different world what was she expecting from you no she I, it was a sing sound movie it was a very simple movie there's no action in it. yeah. conversations nothing, it was conversations but that was recorded with a single mic at that time sing sound was not that much popular but she had done a sing sound and sing sound uh, it was very bad recording i should say you know like it was full of noises and you know only single mic recording mm. so this movie was happening in a summer season but the movie was shot in a uh, rainy season and their movie was frogs and cricket sounds and this is shot in village she wanted me to remove that frog and uh, sound and at that time which i am talking about is like almost like how many years back i don't remember we don't have this plugins which have right now we have lot of plugins which can remove sounds take the dialogue alone so if i had that plugin i would have finished the movie just just like this but i didn't have so i have to find a solution to take that sound out how did you do it i have tried lot of things with eqs you know which with with so many uh, te- techniques actually i should say techniques in the sense like face cancellation techniques you know I, uh, when you when you do a face cancellation it means silence okay the noise reduction happens the same noise which has been face cancelled and came together it is that point where it is silence two sounds you know with same levels so that technology i have used in this so that you know i could a little bit clear of all the sounds wow i took around 3 months to finish the project i started for 15 days so that movie changed me a lot i should say my my entire view point towards the movie changed because i was a youngster at that time uh, i am kind of you know starting my career so i was thinking that I, every movie is coming to me i thought oh 
I can do anything. That kind of attitude naturally comes to you. Like you have seen it. Uh, I have seen so yeah. many. Nothing, nothing is going to be a challenge. Nothing. Nothing. That that too. That too. Uh, Anjali is a newcomer. I will handle. But it was like <laughs> an eye opening for me. But you know, it helped me a lot. Till day, I will say. I even I told Anjali. It, till now also, like Anjali is all project I am doing. But I still take her as a guru, kind of. You know, like. I consider her because you know she made me ch- think differently. Got, got it. So and that kind of directors was there, you know, including Priyan Darshan. Pri- when I sit with Priyan sir, I get a different, different, different viewpoint every day. He is very much focused in sound. So uh, each director has their own, you know, uh, 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 things to teach us. Mm. They may not be a sound technician, but the idea that g- they are giving me will start making me think. in a different way so then our next movie will be like i'll try to implement that as we are nearing the end of the conversation yeah. i'm going to list a few films and i want to know from you what's one new thing that you learned from that film or what was one take away for you from that film let's start with rangasthalam uh, like i really like that film i was rewatching it i really liked how you had used the sound of breath in a lot of scenes uh, early on we hear Ramchar and take a lot of breaths, and the transition that happens from Prakash Raj in hospital to the the past, the way it is mixed, I, it it was wonderful, and that obviously you you were rewarded fittingly for that. Rangasthalam. Rangasthalam, yeah, actually, kind of, it's a challenging thing again. Like you know, the hero character is having a half uh, listen the, the hearing problem. Must have been such a good playground for very, you. Very, very, right? very good playground actually. So his point of his perspective and our the the character perspective changes, keeps on changing. So that is challenging for me. Actually, I was I really enjoyed working on that kind of movies because we have something to do, yeah. not just you know keeping the music down when the dialogue comes, keep the music up when the dialogue is over. No. <laughs> this is something more so you you are going into the movie you are being with that character i i always like working like that you know travel with the character even though i am sitting in this chair when i see the movie i try to go into it you know travel with him you know i i feel like you know everything happening around him so the sound also should happen like that so that's how i mix the movie and rangasalam i approach it in that way only but one thing one beautiful thing which i feel felt in rangasalam is i want to study telugu <laughs> the problem is like you know suguma used to talk to me in completely in complete telugu pure telugu i'll be talking directly back to him in tamil or english He, like that was a fun <laughs> i understood little bit what he is telling but not 100% so somebody will be near him converting that telugu to me so i really wanted to study telugu but i i even tried that you know in, now now telugu i uh, i can understand it more better i think i should <laughs> super then we have uh, santosh shivans ananda badram that is so close to my heart uh, it's like that's that's a movie which once i get it i was like i should do something you know i i that's one of the biggest thing in my mind because I, i i don't know whether when the moment i got the movie in my hand i felt that I, am i eligible to do this it is very big for me is am i eligible but i i understood and you know, i can do it that was the kind of uh, decision i i made on that movie and the best part of that movie is my dad is a music composer so i think you that's his, his last uh, uh, he, he was a music composer for that and that was the first and the last movie which i could work with him and we both got awards for that movie kerala state award kerala state award we went we both together and took the award actually so that was that was that's the reason why it's very close to my heart so i can never forget that you know like and and best thing uh, happened for that movie one of the best thing i never got any calls after the movie i was thinking that you know so many people are going to call me you know telling that the sound was great and all that i was expecting the call nobody called only one call came that was prithviraj he called me and told me that you know that he called me cheta he, he was younger than me um cheta in the yeah, now i i was sitting inside the theater and i was seeing you in every frame i said thank you prithvi He said that, and he kept the phone. 
I was like, okay, I, now I am okay, I am fine. Nobody should call me. The hero yeah. himself, he himself called me and telling me that, you know, I was seeing you in every frame. So, that, that is a very big comment which he had given me and I am thankful for that. And I am very thankful for that movie. That is my very close to heart. <laughs> Wonderful. Then we have Urumi. Yeah. So, Urumi is next next project which came to me and uh, in that movie there is one major thing happened. It was like, I got the movie and I felt like, you know, I have to make it better than Anandabhadra. You had the so, benchmark. Ah, but one thing happened. I cried actually in that movie. I, I cried one day because uh, I was working. I was I almost like finished first half, uh, and suddenly the entire team came to me and told me that you know, in in two days you have to finish the second half, and now we are releasing the movie. We are pre-pawned the release. I said what? I said, I literally, I know the second half was so heavy. I sat here and cried. I cried and I was like. And in that movie, uh, the writer was Shankar Ramakrishnan. We studied together in the school actually. We studied from 5th standard to 10th standard, we were together. So, he was a writer for that movie. So, I understood the value of a friendship in that actually. So, he came to me and he sat with me. We were in the same class actually, we were childhood friends. So, he came to me and he told me, he he's the one who was, he sat with me for every night, like even the, that night I was working, I have only two days in my hand. So, he was giving me coffee and tea and he was like being with me, he was also feeling sleepy, but you know, like he was completely traveling with me. Somehow, I don't know, within two days, I finished the second half. Two days? Two days. Two days, two days and I showed them the second day, I was not sleeping, it was almost like 48 hours and I was sleeping. I, I, I couldn't sleep. Even I slept. Uh, he was telling me sleep for five minutes. No, I said no. I am not able to sleep. So I need to finish this. And in between, so many things happened. You know, like one of my assistant, uh, I was working and uh, in the climax uh, reel, and you know, my one of my assistant is accidentally kicked the hard disk. Hard disk was connected, and it, it, it fell down. And the entire half day work gone. I screamed again. All this pressure. Uh, but you know, end of the day, I finished the movie and I went with Shankar wanted me to go and watch it in the theater. I, he took me to a theater and watched it there. Okay. I felt till now I feel like you know I could have done a little more better. You still want to steal yeah? award for that? Yeah. Yeah, you still. Yeah, I still have got award for me, but you know, I still feel that you know I should have done more better sounds, you know, in that you know the better creations. Jiga <laughs> Tanda. <laughs> it's actually a fun ride with uh, Karthik Subraj and Vishnu Govind and Sri Shankar again. Yeah. And those, uh, that, that one scene in that movie. I know which scene you are talking about. <laughs> one, one shot, yeah, single yeah. shot. Sedu going from the Yeah, theater that to, was uh, like, that was like a challenging thing for me. And you know, entire sound department team, you know, like creating that variation on the go. That is that is something which we we all, I almost take two days to finish that. I took two days, almost like 20, 25 that hours. Geez, just just that, that that scene. It's just you know five minutes of not even five minutes. We took two days to finish. I was just sitting sitting because you know one frame small variation also will it's it should go like a flow. The ambience should change from one thing to another. That thing to another, that thing to another, and it, the person is traveling like this. The sound is traveling like this because the generator is here. He is passing the generator. Means generator is it has to go from It go, goes from from his point of view to the back, and the movie movie is happening in the theater. The theater sound should travel like that, and he is entering into the public toilet. The toilet ambience should come in, and one guy is standing and talking. He is going also passing. He he is not finishing the dialogue. The dialogue is goes past. So. This kind of movements, as well as the uh, ambience changes from the plate, so like from from he's sitting inside that, and it is like the rain will be happening outside. So the the rain sound is different. The moment he travels towards the window, the window is exposed, and the rain sound changes. And going out again, the rain sound is all around, and the rain is uh, falling on his plate. That plate sound, that detail should come. And the moment oh. is changing, 
and then there is a left side there is a generator that generator sound should come and he is entering into the theater the right side the movie is happening that should come you know and and the rain is also changing so yeah, there is yeah, yeah. so much of things involved in it I, when i when i verbally tell you something like that you know it's it's very tough to give uh, like you can you can feel how i feel yeah. it you know when i explain you the things you will understand how in depth we worked on it but it was uh, once once we see, but it should watch it in atmos mm -hmm. that is purely atmos designed uh dolby atmos designed work the entire movie there is one scene where the music is filled but you know something we have done but i can share it with you there is a theater theater sequence then the entire team will be sitting and the movie finished yeah finished and and the fan they are switching of the fan so the entire fan is on at that time it is just a noise once you switch off the fan each and every fan is different the random is it, it changes the speed you know one fan stop early the other fan is creating some sound to stop there will be like the entire walls will be fans right so yeah, we yeah. have designed it the entire uh, every speaker will have different different fans so each and every fan stops at different 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 time you know i can explain you you, you won't listen to that in the movie but it is there <laughs> it is there because the music was overpowering it so in the first mix it was like we kept the music down and we i made sure that is heard for the, like like the thing which i told you we will design decide on the yeah, how the audience should mm -hmm. listen but when the uh, santosh and uh, uh, karthik came to watch chatta so super music chatta increase music should power i said okay thing <laughs> so they kept the music loud and done the entire uh, that design work is gone so this kind of you know uh, things will be there there so many other things in that movie which we have done but the music uh, the music and this combination when it comes in uh, all that will be lost but you know end of the day people enjoyed it you know music was superb in yeah. that right? so a brilliant work from santosh so uh, we also feel like bad you know to, when to you make have the, to ah. mute them ha huh? finally kantara yeah kantara is like a marathon kind of uh, mix happened uh, i first i watched the movie with rishab rishab came to kochi so he came to kochi for a patch shoot for that movie so he wanted me to watch it along with him so we played the movie in uh, the studio called sapta played it i was watching the movie in the first scene i was happy to us the movie i was okay okay it, it was interesting for me climax the moment i it, it started i was like i had never closed my mouth i was feeling that you know the god himself has come down and entered into that character's body and he is acting as is is god there now that kind of goosebumps it came to me because he has done a wonderful job in that so i just stood up and i started clapping after the show happened show is sound was not done music was not done what still you could feel that uh... yeah i'm talking about just the dialogue wow he just played me the movie content just the dialogue nothing else nothing else no music only song was there but the end song was not there in song was not done at that time Aj Aj ajneesh was doing the in song i just stood up and clapped i just tapped the table two times and said this is your best movie you ever done rishab uh, rishab oda i have worked with him for so many projects kirk party kirk party i have done hero i have done bell bottom i have done so uh, but this is it man this is the movie which proves that you are a hero you you are an artist now it is tough for you to you know overcome, overcome this, this like, do something like yeah you, you have reached there a movie without anything i feel that goosebumps uh, he took that movie into his shoulder what a movie man what a climax it's like you know uh, we just need to play along that movie is like you know i won't say that you know we have done that the movie has that already without anything so we just played along and it has gone up like that so it's very easy for us to bring it up 
like this we just need to play along we don't need to do anything over or anything because that is there the 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 essence is there that only few movies will get that but you know of course ajneesh has done a wonderful job with that he recorded all per- percussion instruments into that and uh, i was able to do so many you know like i i just recreated kind of anandabhadram there <laughs> i feel like you know anandabhadram uh, i when i was mixing that movie i got a vibe of anandabhadram actually I normally don't get that kind of vibe every time but you know i got a vibe of anandabhadram when i was doing that movie what i felt that i could get it connect with this movie actually so but you know end of the day it's like you know people had the same feel with god's grace you know it, it, we always i always feel that when you watch the movie first time that's it that's the feel which you get from that movie that's the feel you get from the theater so i love that movie uh my penultimate question is like like you said that you had this fans with dolby atmos the whole theater experience do you think what you make here here 100% do you think that is transferred to an average movie viewer no why no. do you think it's not it's it's depend on so many things actually see having good speakers having good equipments in the theater doesn't mean that uh, the sound is good so to get that sound exactly you need a proper acoustics most of the theater what happens you know it is uh, acoustically there's so many issues Uh, i will tell you one small example if you, most of the theaters i have seen a very bad thing that you know the steps are in the center that's where the sweet spot is come on man so from that point you have to re- redesign the studio you redesign the theater where am i sitting i am sitting in the middle of the room right that's where the sweet spot is that's where the steps are now so how will how will how will an audience enjoy the sound most of the single screen theaters they should renovate it they should uh, not buying the equipments equipments maybe they may be ex- the problem is that you know everyone is ready to put lot of money in buying good equipments i'm telling you most of the theaters i have brought this i have brought this i have this i have this yes how much money you have spent for the acoustics ah, that i have done it for for lakhs 3 lakhs who has done it no that, that i know that boy who is that see this kind of answers i get because they don't care about acoustics they just care about interior interior is different acoustics is different <laughs> doing interior good interior means it's it should not be comparing with good acoustics lot of putting lot of lights and you know like disco lights and all that stuff and you interior super you no know, it's not acoustically correct you have so, so much to go into it the materials which has been used in the wall so many things should be done like if the if, if the acoustically one studio is correct one theater is correct the sound will be good even the speaker equipment is you know not that good and all that stuff sound will be better <laughs> yeah because you know like i will tell you like in this this room is been captured in this right i hope the uh, uh, it's a big room so i'm talking to you like this the same loudness is needed only from me to t- if i'm talking to in the from the corner of this room is almost very far away from you i don't need to shout at you i just need to whisper you listen to that you will hear it see if the acoustics is bad if i whisper the whisper will uh, circle there only it won't come to you because sound has been reflected so when the, when the sp- when the sound comes out of the speaker and sound doesn't have any reflection it will directly reach to the audience but if you have reflection it will lose lose there so then you have to crank up the volume you pump up the volume again if the moment the more you pump up the volume it more the sound is getting problematic what is the level that you mix like do you you have a number right see it's a calibration number actually that doesn't mean anything you know it's 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 how you listen to a song okay okay you you want to listen to it loud play it loud you want to listen to it soft but is play there soft. an ideal optimal one for say see we, we always we always mix it at the optimum level okay 
So, when you play that at the optimum level, definitely you will get the 100 percent of what we have done if the acoustic, if it is acoustically character true. But if it is badly acoustically done, cranking of the volume on may help better to keep it soft. <laughs> so, the more you pump up, the more the, uh, problematic the sound is going to be because of bad acoustics, not because of the speaker is bad, the sound mix is bad, no. See, every movie is focused properly, even though I, I have not done or I have done or whatever it is, every movie is like focused properly with from director, the producer, the hero, everyone is watching it thousand times to make sure people enjoy it. And we are not just fools to give a output just like that, no. Everyone is focused even for one dialogue that is heard or not, we, we hear it again and again and again and make sure it is perfect. But when it, it is not rendering from the theatre means, you should think. Wow. So, yeah. end of the day when we go and watch it in the theatre, we I feel I started sweating. So many very bad experiences I have and I stopped going to theatre and watch my own movie. I will watch someone else's movie because I do not know what the final output is. <laughs> But for my movie, I know what it is. The moment I see this, who is this? This is not me. Something else is coming out means I can't bear to sit there. I normally just walk out. I don't see. There is no need of going and complaining things. Whom to complain? Otherwise, I have to bring out all the people, educate them. What is acoustics? What is soundproofing? What is this? What is that? What is this? no? We can't do that. People, so many, so many people think that, you know, sound coming in surround is the best sound. No, it is not. It, it, the best sound is where the people sit in the theatre and enjoy it without thinking that there is sound in the movie. When you, when your audience can come into the theatre and watch the movie and say, movie is good man. And they are not talk, talking about music, they are not talking about sound means, yes, we are successful. If you say the movie after coming out, music is good, the movie is crude, <laughs> right? So that is that's how the movie we should enjoy, that is what I feel. We should forget about everything, we should go and like, like what we done for the mix, go with the character, fly with them, travel with them, nothing is disturbing you means, it is a good, good theatre, good experience movie experience. Super. My final question, uh, like you said, when you were working in analog, there was digital, then 5.1, then 7.1. When you thought everything is perfect with 7.1, you had Atmos that treated each speaker like an object, like that changed the way uh, sound is consumed. What do you think the future holds for sound? Like what, what next, what can be better than this? I don't know. Seriously, I don't know. Because I told you, when I was working on analog, I thought that is it. But now I know one thing, something else is it will, it will come. For sure, something else is coming. But at, at that time, we will, we will again, we should have the mind to study that, you know. And it will take another five to six years to make people enjoy that, you know. It is a process, major process, you know. Now people are looking forward to Dolby Atmos. In the beginning, nobody knows what is Dolby Atmos. Now people know. So that's the difference. What is 5.1? People doesn't know. Now people know. So it changes. Definitely, something, some big change is coming for sure. That I don't know. Let's wait and <laughs> let's wait. Anyways, I'm there. Yeah, you will be here. <laughs> I'm also waiting. So on that note, thank you very much for this time. This has been such a gratifying conversation. This is one of the best conversations I have had as a film journalist. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much.